you must understand how the platelets are formed. Like all other blood cells, that is RBC, WBC, platelets are formed in bone marrow. And the formation of platelet in the bone marrow is known as thrombopoiesis. That is, poiesis means formation, thrombo means platelet, thrombopoiesis. So this is how in the bone marrow platelets are formed. We know inside the bone marrow, the first cell is the hematopoietic stem cell that give rise to all other cells. From the hematopoietic cell, stem cell, myeloblast and lymphoblast are formed. From myeloblast, megakaryoblast is formed. That megakaryoblast will give rise to promegakaryocyte. These all are promegakaryocyte. Promegakaryocyte give rise to megakaryocyte. These all are megakaryocyte. And ultimately, megakaryocyte give rise to platelet. So what are the precursors of the platelet? If I say the precursors of the platelet are three. That is megakaryoblast. That give rise to promegakaryocyte. And that give rise to megakaryocyte. So these are the precursors of the platelet. So what is the difference between that? The first cell, megakaryoblast, is the earliest precursor of the platelet. We can see this is the megakaryoblast. Now megakaryoblast give rise to promegakaryocyte by endoduplication. Only this um, cell in human body undergo endoduplication. Endoduplication. What do you mean by endoduplication? Here only nucleus is dividing. Cytoplasm is not dividing. You can see from one, two nucleus are formed. From two, four nucleus are formed. From four, eight nucleus are formed. And from eight, 16 are formed. So hyperploidy, it is not deployed. It is hyperploid cell. So a hyperploid cell is formed. That is polyploidal cell is formed. And that polyploidal cell is promegakaryocyte. So promegakaryocyte is the only cell in human body which is hyperploid. It is hyperploid. That is the specialty of promegakaryocyte. Now, promegakaryocyte give rise to megakaryocyte. You can see these all are promegakaryocyte. They give rise to megakaryocyte. You can see the difference in their structure. The only difference is the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, granules are present. So, in the cytoplasm, granules are coming and the granules will become abundant. So, red purple granules are there. So, that differentiate promegakaryocyte from megakaryocyte, the granules. And in the end, megakaryocyte give rise to platelet. We can see. So, this megakaryocyte here, multiple pseudopores will be formed. All the pseudopores will degrade and multiple platelets are formed. So, pseudopores will be formed in the megakaryocyte and it give rise to platelet. So, one megakaryocyte give rise to 4,000 platelets. 4,000 platelets are formed from one cell, one cell. And the complete process takes place 10 days. So, this is the complete thrombopoiesis. In complete thrombopoiesis, the first cell is megakaryoblast. That is the earliest precursor. It gives rise to promegakaryocyte by a special process known as endoreduplication, in which only nucleus is dividing, cell is not dividing. So, all the promegakaryocytes are polyploidal cells, right? They are not deployed, they are polyploidy. Now, promegakaryocyte gives rise to megakaryocyte. So, see the difference. The difference is in the cytoplasmic granularity. So, in promegakaryocyte, cytoplasm is non granular, but in megakaryocyte, the cytoplasm contains pink purple granules. And ultimately, from the megakaryocyte, multiple pseudopores are formed, they just degrade, and multiple platelets are formed. So, from one megakaryocyte, nearly 4,000 platelets are formed. You got it? So, what are platelets? Platelets, we can see here, platelets are formed, they are non nucleated cells. They are discoid in shape and they are non nucleated. They are very small. They are discoid. They contain granules in them and they are non nucleated. Right? The lifespan of platelet is 7 to 10 days. 10 days. The lifespan of RBC is 120 days. The lifespan of platelet is 10 days. What is the normal platelet count in human? In human, normal platelet count is 1.5 to 4 lakh. We know that. What is the function of platelet? As I have told you, imagine I am having a cut over here or any part of the body. I will start bleeding. All persons start bleeding. But bleeding stops automatically within the next few seconds or minutes. Have you ever thought why this bleeding is stopping automatically? Although there is a cut in the blood vessel, the complete human body have blood vessel. So there is an injury in the blood vessel just within the skin. So that blood vessel is open. So the cut area is sealed by the platelet. That is known as hemostasis. Now see the word hemostasis. Stasis means stoppage and hemo means bleeding. So this is how the platelets are required to stop bleeding to seal the injured area. So that is the main function. Imagine if God has not given platelets in human blood. So someone if have cut or injury, he or she will bleed, 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 bleeding will not stop automatically and the 5 liters of blood present in body, it will bleed out in the next few hours. So that doesn't happen. Within next few seconds or minutes, all persons have automatically stoppage of bleeding. That is known as hemostasis. So hemo